If you've seen the front of Red Magic 8 Pro, you will be impressed with that screen, but not everyone is into gaming phones, so maybe you're still looking for a normal phone with a Red Magic 8 Pro screen. Nubia certainly knows what we think, and this phone is designed for those people. Because it's Nubia's top flagship phone, Z50 Ultra has to put a larger sensor on the back, so it's not as clean as Red Magic 8 Pro's back panel. It's more of an upgrade of Z40s than Z50, with a more similar design. The flat frame and screen, 6.8 inches plus 228 grams of weight, predestined the Z50 Ultra to not feel great in your hand. But the advantage is that such a design is unique and you can recognize the phones even from 5 meters away. The Z50 Ultra also has an alert slider, which can be customized. The default function is to turn on the camera, which shows that it is very confident in its camera system. The Z50 Ultra has IR, NFC, and dual nano SIM card slots, but no IP68. I personally like the square design, which is unique and beautiful. It makes sense that the first sale in China broke 100 million RMB. This big and complete screen is the same as Red Magic 8 Pro's, both from BOE's OLED panel. The resolution is 1116p with 120Hz refresh rate, 1440Hz high frequency PWM dimming at low brightness, which you can also change to DC like dimming in the developer options. There's no serious color shift in the optical view, and the Delta E is less than 1. The bezel is very narrow and the screen does not have any holes, making a very good screen overall. Let's focus on this area of the front camera. Like the Exxon 40 Ultra, it really hides the front camera almost perfectly. Although the Z50 Ultra can't hide the front camera perfectly in any state yet, you can still find it when you look closely at low brightness, but trust me, you won't notice it in 99% of the scenarios. The screen specifications have made some compromises for under display camera. For example, the maximum brightness of the full screen is low, and it is not easy to see the content in strong sunlight. Resolution cannot reach 2K, which is still the difficult point that ZTE and BOE need to overcome in the future. This under-display camera has always been very unfriendly to people who like to take selfies. Once the conditions are harsh, such as a backlight is not good or even dark environment, the photos taken by this front camera really don't look good. Furthermore, if you take a picture in the right environment, it is still not as good as ordinary phone, but it's still relatively clear with the AI algorithm. The really bad thing is the video. Although it supports 1080p resolution, but it looks more like a 720p or even 480p. Anyway, the image quality improvement of the front camera is relatively small. People with high requirements for selfies should not buy this phone. Not surprisingly, the Z50 Ultra's processor is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 plus UFS 4.0 and LPDDR5X. The result in both 3D Mark and the latest Geekbench 6 shows that it's a flagship phone level. There are issues with the downclocking in the CPU throttling test, but trust me, it has no impact on your gaming experience. Just like its brother Red Magic 8 Pro, the Z50 Ultra's gaming performance is stunning. Even in Genshin Impact Samuru, it doesn't seem to be stressed. An average frame rate of 57 FPS makes it one of the best gaming performers of any non-gaming phone. Although the loading of the mapping caused some lag when you first entered the game, it immediately became very smooth and stable. But the consequence is that it brings higher temperatures and higher power consumption, which is the reason why the Red Magic 8 Pro has a built-in fan. You can also address the balance mode in game space, the temperature will be much lower, but the maximum FPS will be locked at 50. You can also use bypass charging if you run out of power while playing games. So Nubia gives you the choice here, whether you choose a high frame rate and high temperature or lower frame rates and low temperature. The first thing that impressed us about the Z50 Ultra's camera was the stability. It gives you a very good photo no matter what the environment is or the time of the day. It's hard for me to analyze its pros and cons like I do with other phones because its image quality is really nothing that I can complain about. Vibrant colors, great clarity, and a good dynamic range. And it's not just the main camera that performs so well, but all three lenses are that good. This is rare, because most phones perform well with only the main camera. Next, I'll show you some sample shots I took with the Z50 Ultra. If I must say one drawback of Z50 Ultra, some camera experience is not that good. For example, the buttons for switching lenses in night mode are below the viewfinder, which is very difficult to press with one hand. There's also the sliding switch, which can only be used to open the camera street mode. 
If you don't like taking pictures with filters, the only solution is to turn off the filters in street mode, so later it's the normal mode when opening the camera with the sliding switch. D50 Ultra chose a whole 5000 mAh cell as a battery. The downside of a single cell is that it cannot accept a too high charging power, and 80 watt is not much higher power today. It takes 40 minutes to be fully charged, but the advantage of a single cell is that it makes the battery more durable. Although the power consumption of the game session is similar for everyone, compared to the dual cell battery, it has a clear advantage on the other sessions. After a year or two, the difference in battery life will be more obvious. But as a flagship phone, the absence of wireless charging is a great pity for Z50 Ultra. We have made a video about our experience with the system, and my OS was not mentioned in it, so I would like to talk about it here. The system has no obvious disadvantages, it feels like MIUI lit to me. Many places are very similar to MIUI. For example, on the desktop, slide down on the left side is the message center, the right side is the control center, custom color wheel in display setting, swipe to open the floating window after receiving a message. Even these super wallpapers are so similar. I think this is a good thing. After all, MIUI is a better system. So you don't have to worry about MIUI being too much behind upon other systems. At least I'm comfortable with using it. Overall, the Nubia Z50 is not only very versatile, but also very unique. Whether it's gaming, photography, or better life, it's all top notch. And the 35mm main camera and this full straight screen is something that no other phone can satisfy with. Plus, the Z50 Ultra isn't expensive when you compare it to other flagship phones. If you want to try a phone without a notch or a hole punch, there's no one better than the Z50 Ultra. I'm Will from China. I'll see you next time.